We're at 514 Main Street here in Batavia at uh, Model Remodel. So built in 1930, the house was for the most part original. We fully gutted the home. It's got new electrical, it's got new plumbing, it's got a new HVAC system. The square footage is gonna be about 1,500 square feet for the first and second floor. Uh, downstairs, we do have a finished basement. That's gonna be a, approximately an additional 360 square feet for the basement. We're gonna use the CB combination unit for Nuritz today. It's gonna be our domestic hot water heater for the home for our two and a half baths, but it's also a boiler system at the same time. So it's gonna heat the water hydronically through our air handler system to be able to give us heat in the wintertime. This is hydronic heating with forested air, or hydro air as it's put. So the hot water is produced by the boiler, the combination boiler, then pumped through the coils of the air handler where the air is blown over it to heat up the uh, interior air. At the same time, the combination unit is going to provide all the hot water for the house needed for the domestic purposes. The technology behind tankless water heaters are awesome. Um, it only uses what you need at the time you need it. Uh, they take up a lot less space than a water heater does, and your life of the tank on a tankless water heater is, is a lot longer than a tank on a standard water heater. When we actually gutted this house and removed the uh, combination air handler system, it, it was a standard furnace. It was pretty large. It was probably three feet, three and a half feet in diameter for, for probably six feet. In addition to that, we had a tank hot water heater uh, in the house. So as you can see, we've shrink that footprint tremendously. It is a low mass modulating system, so there's not a lot of water in there. This is going to control a lot of energy consumption and really try to sip instead of guzzle energy and just use what's needed. So if you have just one hand sink, it's gonna make just enough hot water with the amount of energy for that purpose only and then shut down. Or if you need two showers and a sink running at the same time, this unit will be able to do that and it's gonna ramp up to its full potential. So it's gonna hit everything in between. About 12 years ago approximately, we were uh, remodeling our basement. Uh, I'm a father of 14 teenage kids and I realized that the 40 gallon hot water heater that we had in our home wasn't gonna cut it. So we decided about 12 years ago to install tankless hot water heaters and we've never looked back since. The whole world has used this stuff uh, before since 1951. America being the last, the last country, the last major country to grab hold of tankless technology, we still primarily heat with storage. But we've come a long way. We've come a long way with the acceptance because of all the success. It's not just saving energy, it's not just having all the hot water. It's people seeing what these things could do. I would definitely recommend the Norit system, the, the Combi. Um, I just think that it's, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a great product. I see the efficiency in using tank hot water heaters here in this region. Like I said, we switched to it 12 years ago and we haven't looked back. So I'm really excited to see how this CB uh, combination unit is really gonna uh, change how we think about heating and cooling our homes uh, in this region.